Welcome back. This is lesson two of our geometry unit. We are identifying geometric terms in shapes. But before we go on, I would like you to look at your learning goal. I would like you to rate yourself. Please make sure you rate yourself with a circle before the lesson and a triangle at the end. All right? So here we go. Here we have a triangle. And this triangle has one, two, three points. You see it? Where these lines meet, there are points. This triangle also has one, two, three line segments. And then this triangle also has three angles, right here, right here, and up top. These are all acute angles. All right, so that's what our goal is going to be today, is to find all of these different geometric terms inside of a shape. So let's look at this guy. We have points in our pentagon. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, five points. We have one, two, three, four, five line segments. And then we also have angles, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, and they're all obtuse angles. Five obtuse angles. Because they're greater than a right angle, they're greater than 90 degrees. All right? Here we have a hexagon, a six-sided shape. So we have, let's switch colors, one, two, three, four, five, six points. We have one, two, three, four, five, six line segments. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six angles. And then we also have some parallel lines here. I have one, these are a set of parallel lines, right, they'll never meet. Right here is a set of parallel lines, they'll never meet. And right here we have a set of parallel line segments and they will never meet. So we have three pairs of parallel line segments. All right, now we have a right triangle. And we're going to do the same thing. We have one, two, three points. We have one, two, three line segments. All right, I have three angles, but I have one, two acute angles. And I have one right angle. And then I also have a set of perpendicular line segments. See this line segment's going straight down. This line segment's going straight across. It looks like a plus sign, doesn't it? So we have one perpen, one perpendicular line segment pair, because it takes two to have a perpendicular line segment, right? 
All right, let's move to this one. So in this rectangle, we have one, two, three, four points. One, two, three, four line segments. We have one, two, three, four right angles, right? And then we also have one, two, three, four perpendicular line pairs. And finally, we have two sets of parallel lines. Look, one, two, this is a parallel line segment. One, two, here's another parallel line segment. So two parallel line segments. All right, we're gonna skip these for homework tonight. I want to know, can you draw a pentagon with two right angles? Can you draw a hexagon with two right angles? What geometric shapes contain parallel lines? What contain perpendicular lines? Draw some examples to support your answers. After you do that, I would like you to look at your learning goal. Whoop, let me go back to find it. I'd like you to look at your learning goal and rate yourself one more time. Nice work today, guys.